Good morning, everybody. It's been a long time. I haven't made a video. I did miss you guys, man, and I miss fishing. It's been crazy at work lately, and I've been soccer refereeing a lot, almost every day, so. But finally, I got a chance. Even though today is really windy, it's gonna be almost 18, 20 miles an hour north northeast wind, so. But I'm here, as you can see. Beautiful day, partly cloudy. It was raining earlier, but it looks like it's gonna be okay till 1 p.m. Right now it's seven o'clock. So we should be okay. We should have good fishing around uh, four or five hours. So I'm looking forward to it, really. I miss it. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, let's see. And snook season is open. So after August 31st, you could keep your snook, anything from 27 to 32 inches. And here we go. We're gonna be in Mosquito Lagoon, going up and down. I'm gonna be also uh, dock fishing as well under the docks for some sheep's head. I got some fiddler crabs, live shrimp, and try to catch, you know, the sheep's head and the black drum as well. So let's see what happens. I'll see you out there. All right, we're ready to unload the kayak. Everything set up. Here we go. Looks nice outside actually. We got our Mirage Drive, MD180 Turbo. I like my hobby, man. Hope it makes good kayaks. All right. Especially the drive system they have is incredible. All right. So we got that. Oh, here goes my Garmin Fish Finder. Too shallow, too shallow. <laughs> All right. All right. We're right here. We got our shrimp and fiddler crabs right there. Look at them. Ooh, buddy. All right. Try to get us some ship's head and black drum. That's our setup, guys. We're gonna use two popping cork, foot and a half line. I got the swim bait there. And I have my famous gacha lure right here. Man, that's money right there. That's how I got the snook the last time. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Probably troll, go up and down. And let's see what happens. little crabs on a Carolina rig half an ounce weight egg weight and over this one that's the popping cork almost foot and a half line fluorocarbon I got the jig head to give some weight and that's a half an ounce jig head with the live shrimp so I'm gonna throw that once I get out there but I'm gonna try these ducks man with the fiddler crab, it should be good. Ship's head, black drum. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. See anybody's home. All right. There we go. Drop it all the way down. We are eight and a half Fish feet on. right here. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's the popping cork with the live shrimp. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. There we go, there's the popping cork. Whoa. <laughs> that's a good one. What do we got? Oh man, big catfish. Are you serious? 
Huge catfish. All right, can he get out of here? Oh man, look at that. My God, that's huge. No, no, buddy, no, no, no. No, I don't want you. Oh. Spit it out, man, spit it out. I don't want to deal with you. Look at this. Oh, but it's all the way in. Oh, crap. Okay. Shh, easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. All right. All right, let's get there. Oh, man. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Take it easy, buddy. Oh, did I tell you guys I hate catfish? My God, so annoying, man. Hold on, hold on, man. hold on. Well, that's a big one, too. All right. Get the plier. Get you out of here, man. So annoying, dude. Really annoying. Okay. Whew. Look at this ugly mofo. All right, see you later, buddy. Man, I got excited, man. I thought there was a nice snook. Oh. All right, well. I got the shrimp. <laughs> All slimy line. Jeez. All right. Let's keep going, guys. I just got under the duck to protect myself. Crazy wind and storm. The rain is here. Just gotta wait until it passes. That's Florida for you. Typical. Woo. Oh man, he got ugly quick. Probably right here under the duck. So wait it out. Hopefully it passes quick. We'll continue as soon as the storm is over. The dolphins are feeding like crazy today. My goodness. They are everywhere. Left, right, corner. Incredible feeding frenzy going on. No wonder there's no fish. Like, they're over there. They're over there. They're over there. They're over there. They're over here. They're by the shore. They're by the docks. And they're active. I mean, they're going crazy. Wow. Never seen this many dolphins hunting. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Well, guys, unfortunately, that's it. We got skunked. My first official skunk. Because I'm not going to count that catfish. Man, I hate catfish. And that small whiting, you know. But anyways, that was a horrible day, man. A lot of dolphins, they're feeding. So I don't think the fish was all around. Um, nothing under the docks, no ship's head, no black drum. Not a side of snook, not even one. Usually you see them active, you know, hunting, the bait fish all around, jumping, the wake, nothing. It was incredible. I never seen that before, really. I'm really shocked, but I guess it happens. So, but again, you know, that's my first skunk, so I'm proud of that. Appreciate you guys watching, man. I'm at 154 subscriber. I do appreciate if you guys subscribe because I'm gonna be making a lot more videos, like I said before. Now is the fishing season, so until March, I'm gonna be going fishing a lot. So please check back with me, subscribe, and I do appreciate Top you guys essential watching. Top items for kayak fishing. As you can see, I got my kayak here in the garage, and I do have a bunch of items. I wanna get started. I, um, I do have the 
As you can see here, the Outback Mirage Camo Edition, that's a 2017 model. It's very nice, I love it. I do have the anchor system as well here. Right there, goes all the way across. It comes really handy. When I bought the kayak, they actually did that for me, you know, from my local shop. I do have my anchor in the uh, front section there. And after that, really, you know, when you look at the kayak, you gotta have your PFD. That's a must, guys. This is the most important part of your kayak fishing. Doesn't matter where you go, you go offshore, inshore, inlet, you go to lake, you gotta have your PFD. I highly recommend you guys get a good one. Mine is Magellan. Um, it's very nice, comfortable. As you can see here, it has the mesh right in the back part, so it doesn't actually, you know, interfere when you sit down with the seat back. So that's really helpful. It doesn't bulk it up. Also has the uh, front pockets. I like that it's like a little station there and when you open it it has a tray there you could put change a bait do all that stuff I mean I don't really use it but it has it and on this side you could put your plier here I put my cell phone in there big pocket right in there and another item whatever you want you could put there a couple stuff and I do have an attachment the whistle here just in case very loud so it's all about safety you know so you gotta make sure you're safe and sound on the water and after that for safety i do have my flag you know i kind of diy this you know but i do recommend the flag i have this that's from my soccer refereeing that's my flag but i just kind of attach it to the pole that i got from home depot and that's it and I put that on back of my cooler and it's pretty high pretty visible you know the height almost six seven feet six feet so like you said as you can see it does stay pretty tall with the kayak especially so it's visible I do have couple lights strobe lights right there you just press on if you needed to it works you know and I mean I don't really use it at night that's just there but if you need it you could actually do it see like that it blinks steady so the next item would be my go-to is the Garmin fish finder and as you can see here I have the Garmin fish finder it's incredible I love this it says striker plus four striker four plus and I do use it every single and time. The next that I item go out. is definitely the when I load cart. it in the morning, when I take it out in the morning, load it, unload it. You just put it in there. It's, that's from the hobby. I mean, you could get it any brand doesn't matter, but I love it. I don't have to lift anything. I just put it there, stroll it wherever I want to go either on my uh, pickup truck or in the trailer, wherever, it helps me a lot. So I do use that a lot. And the next item would be definitely the cooler, good cooler. I do use this angle cooler and I like the, this one because of the fact that it's very insulated, you know, very nice all around and it has four rod holders. Yes, it does come with, I mean, you could buy them separately without it, it's a little cheaper, but this does come with four all around. It's very handy, you go to beach, if you do the beach fishing, kayak fishing, whatever, you could put your rods there. I put my net there, this also I have, comes handy when you have big fish, you don't have to, you know, struggle with it, you could just bring it to the kayak. So I do have that. So I highly recommend the, um, the cooler. It's really big, very deep. So right there, that's my little lunch bag that I got. So that's right there, guys. Very nice insulated. 
I do keep those uh, cooler packs that you know I mentioned on my other videos. And these items, they're all under my description. Every single uh, product that I use, I place them on the bottom below for you guys so you can check it out. I like I said, all of them highly recommended because I do use the next them item on my list is definitely my ruler. I just got that. I was using another one. I love this. You could actually lay the fish. See, right there's the lip. And you could hold the fish in there without falling off. So it's not so thin. It's pretty thick. And that's like, a, I would say, four inch right there. Not a two inch one. So four inch thickness is perfect. It has a little groove in there so the fish stays there. It goes up to, you know, uh, 30. 30 inches so I love that it has the sponges all around so it actually floats which I liked about that too because I was using this one before it's a struggle I don't know if you guys seen it on my couple last videos I catch the fish I try to bring it in I hold this open it's a struggle you know it, it was bad so I said you know what no, that's it man I, I'm gonna invest and get one for myself I'm gonna do a lot more video and I do appreciate it you guys subscribing and watching so if you haven't please do subscribe